This one, yes. Yeah. Well, I've never seen. Well, I've never seen one like this before. No, this is to celebrate the hundredth anniversary. Yeah. Oh. oh, hello, Blakey. What are you doing? Well, I'm organising this thing, aren't I? <laughs> uh, the management, in their infinite wisdom, Mrs. Butler, has asked me to tell the public what it was like to be a busman a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever, because he was here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Twit. What's them photos, Inspector? Oh, this is when we were using horse buses, Mrs. Butler. Oh. Yeah, look, here's one of a horse and an inspector of that time. It's very good, yeah. Which is the horse? <laughs> <laughs> Twit. Why is that Inspector holding a bucket and shovel? Oh, uh, I expect he was clearing up after the horse. Yeah. Well, that's all inspectors were fit for. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> there you see the horse buses before we turned over the motor bus. Oh. Anyone like to ask any questions at all about the horse buses? Excuse me, Inspector. I would like to ask about this motor bus. Oh, yes, madam, indeed. Well, what uh, would you like to know about the motor bus? What time does it leave for South End? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 madam, this bus doesn't go to South End anymore. No, the South End bus left from over there five minutes ago. No! Well, you might have said. I've been waiting here all morning. You've been here all the morning. It's <laughs> no laughing matter! <laughs> <laughs> Any questions now about this? Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to ask a question, Blackie. Oh, certainly, Harper. What would you like to know? Can I have a word with you vis a vis the new schedules? We're objecting. You've got us down to more journeys per shift. Yeah, well, we can't talk about that now. Oh, yes, we can. He's right. I've done so many hours, I'm fit to drop. Well, that's just too bad, Butler, because I worked those schedules out and they're going to stay. Oh, here we go. It was off again. All right, brothers, gather round. <laughs> There's been a refusal to meet the accredited shop steward, convene joint negotiations and discuss. Action will therefore be taken unilaterally forthwith. Well, what does that mean? It means we're all out on strike. All right, brothers, all out, all out. Here we go again. Oh, God. Come on in, up the office. We're so talk this out. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Does that mean we won't get a bus home? No, don't you worry, ma'am. You leave it to old Jack. As soon as they hear the word strike, we'll be back on the old shed just before you know it. Well, you knew where you were then. You could always rely on the bus being half an hour late. <laughs> yes, Dan. Don't this old bus look funny? It hasn't got a lid on it. Do you know what? That was the first motor bus to leave the Luxton garage. Really? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. Oh. Uh, I wonder what they were like to drive. <laughs> Here, you know what, love? You know, Granny used to tell me about these buses. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, a brute to drive. Cool. Oh. oh, I wouldn't like in them days, love. All the polishing, all this brass. You never had none of those quick polishers. No vacuum cleaners. And you had to do all your cooking on an open stove. God, and I'm half tired, Mum. Eh? It must be all that overtime I've been doing, oh, see? They used to wear such lovely long dresses with skirts sweeping the ground. Yes, they swept up all the muck, too. <laughs> nah, there weren't no same day cleaners them days. Love, you had to do it all yourself. Well, they were better than these shapeless old uniforms. I think it must have been ever so romantic. Don't you, Stan? Ah, oh, bless him. He's dropped off. He's tired out. They work him too hard, you know. Uh, uh, hold, hold their heads, Jack. Hold their heads, Ray. I think he's dreaming. I wonder what about. Oh, whoa, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Up you, there you go, boys. Go on, Planet Pickwick. There you go. Oh, oh blimey. Oh. Oh. Steady on. Oh, 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 hold it, hold it. Oh, yeah. for the kids. Ah, oh, nah, take like this. Here. Go on, get out of it. Kill. 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 Yeah, not a lot of perishes. Cool. Get out of here, little perishes. Get up back of the air. Hey, Jack, who are the shaft? Uh. Hey. What's Blakey gonna say? Oh, don't worry about him. He knows you're a rotten driver, doesn't he? Hey? <laughs> Look, I mean, it's all in a day's work, isn't it? Look, I don't drive a bus through a shop every day. No, that's true. That's it only once a week, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> shut up. Look, don't worry about Blakey. He can't eat us, can he? 
No. No, I mean, what can he do? Nothing, really. Right, exactly. Well, you go and face him, I'll put the arms yeah, away. Yeah, come here, come here. You're in this as well as I am, you know. What are you talking about? You were driving the horses? Yeah. And who was the one that pointed out that girl? The one walking up the stairs of the bus in front of me? The one with a short skirt on? Yeah, it, yeah. It was short, wasn't it? That's right, it was. Hey? Uh, you, I saw her ankles. Oh, no, no, no. no. When she was going up the stairs, I nearly saw her look. Go on, you didn't. What do you see? I saw her knees. Mate, <laughs> you get me going. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go and see, Blake. I can't. I'll get the sack. Yes, of course you won't. Even if you do, I mean, look, the union will stick up for you. What's the union? Well, look, it's when all the workers in the depot band together to fight the boss. What's the first time I've heard of it? Yeah, well, there's only me in the union at the minute. <laughs> Still, it's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, come on, look, I'm not afraid of the Kaiser. Nah. No, I mean, come on, let's hey. just tell him, mate. Yeah, hey. yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah. we'll show him who's hey, the gun hey, around hey, here. Jack, Jack, what no. shall we say then? No, we'll just go in there yeah, and right. tell him. Oh. Uh, Mr. Baxter? Uh, yes, sir. Now, where do you two think you've been, eh? You know it's late, don't you? Yeah, I'm afraid you're not going to like this, Mr. Baxter. Uh, one of our horses threw a shoe, didn't he, Stan? Yeah, yeah, he, he threw a shoe. <laughs> well, what's the terrible about that? The horses are always throwing shoes. Yeah, well, when he threw his shoe, he threw it through the door of a shop. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a shop? A china shop. <laughs> oh, no, I've got a... Here. I hope you've got the shoe back. There are plenty each, you know. <laughs> no, it's all right. He didn't lose it. Yeah. No, no, you see, because when he threw it, he didn't let go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see that. Yeah, but... uh, well, you see, when the shoe went through, he went through. Yeah. <laughs> see, and when he went through, we went through and showed him the bus. No, <laughs> <laughs> skull. Do you mean to tell me that you you drove your horse bus through a shop window that was a china shop? That's right. Now you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Deacon Poops! I'll have you all spit for this butler! Yeah, but it wasn't my fault, honest. Oh, no, it wasn't your fault, no. I suppose your horse bus was parked at the side of the road and the china shop took off and drove at you. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, well, well uh, I admit it's going to cost the, the company a few bob. Yeah, yeah. what are you going to do? A sack us, sir? Yes, a sack! Get out! Go on! Thank Come you, back here! No, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? You'd like that, wouldn't you? No. You two are going to work twice as hard for the rest of your natural life till you've paid for that. Oh, we can't do that. Look, we're doing as many journeys in a 14-hour day as is humanly possible. I mean, we can't do no more. Follow me. Cast your gig lamps out there and tell me what you make of that. What's <laughs> <laughs> that funny-looking thing out there, then? That funny-looking thing out there, Butler, is a horseless bus. Well, I can see it's a horseless bus. All you do is put two horses in front of it. No, no, no. A horseless bus doesn't need any horses. Well, how does it go? There you are, Butler. That is what will make the bus go. What, that little thing? That little thing pulled this blue great thing like this? That little thing there is 20 horsepower. Hey, I want to tell you, Jack, he's got 20 horses to pull it. <laughs> you idiot. They're not real horses, they're mechanical horses. That little thing there will make you go at 20 miles an hour. Look, Mr Blake, if the working man was meant to go 20 miles an hour, God would have given him wings. You fool. You don't go at 20 miles an hour, it's the bus what goes at 20 miles an hour. You'll be able to get to the cemetery gates in half the time. Oh, that's great, here. Yeah. Oh, I'm beginning to like this bus, you know. Yeah. You see, if we get there in half the time, yeah. we'll get there early and have all the extra time to ourselves. Yeah. You will do nothing of the kind. As it gets there in half the time, you'll be able to do twice as many trips. The that butler is how you will pay back for all the damage you've done today. <laughs> oh, no, well, there's one thing, Stan. If we do twice as many trips, we'll get twice the wages, eh? Yeah. Don't talk ridiculous. You be ridiculous, but well, what do we get out of it, then? Nothing. Well, what do we get out of it if we say we won't do it? Get the sack. <laughs> yeah, and what if we say we're on strike? You still get the sack. And under the Trade Disputes Act of 1909, you get six months hard labour. Well, we better do it, Stan. Yeah. Now you're talking sense, right? Now come along. 
You do realise, of course, Butler, that you've got to learn to drive this vehicle in your own time. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. Right then. Now then, the first thing you do is pour in some of this petroleum into the engine. You got a light, mate. No, no, don't you light a match in here. I'm given to understand this stuff is highly combustible. Right. You pour it into there, right? Yeah. That thing there. Now then, that goes down there into a cylinder. It makes a loud bang, drives down a piston. This piston turns a shaft, which turns the back wheels, which draws the bus along. Nah, it never worked. I don't get it. You will get it. Get up on that driving seat and start it up. Come on. Uh, just remember this space, how do we start it? You say G up. <laughs> <laughs> Put that wire in there and you turn that handle there, which is a starting handle. When he turns that handle, what does it do? It winds up the rubber band in there. <laughs> Come, on, up. Come on, turn it. Uh, yes. Right, sir. Right. There's nothing happening. Well, give it a lot of sugar. <laughs> Turn it again. Yeah, Two turns in a bang. Right. <laughs> oh, bang, yeah. Oh, you candy custard. Why have you been frightened of a little thing like that? Yes. Anything to do with work with Cherry Fire used to? I'm not frightened. No, I'm not frightened. I'll do it. Two, Two turns in the bag, yeah. right? Right here. Laundry. Do you know what we nearly bring in a pound a week? No. Yeah. Well, I suppose we have to thank God for giving us the strength to do all this work. Yes. I wish we didn't have to take in washing. I never get a chance to do my own smalls. Oh, yeah. Where's your smalls then? There, they're not even in yet. Oh, no. So we'll look at it. <laughs> well, if they're your smalls, what? I don't know what your bigs are like. <laughs> Here, Mum. Got your neck wait, I'm hungry. Yes, love. There's some nice sheep's head stew on the frame. Oh, lovely. I'm starved. my favourite, too. Oh, I'm <laughs> starving hungry, Mum. I really am honest. Ah, oh, Olive made it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm so hungry, I can eat anything. Why do they keep you so late? Well, they're having a lot of changing at the depot, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? We're getting rid of the horses. Oh? Yes, and I've been picked for a special job. Mm. Stan, they're not going to make you pull the bus. <laughs> no, of course they're not, Mum. We're having new harmony buses. They're worked by a motor. You wouldn't understand that. Anyway, I'm taking the first one out of the bar, you know. Dear yeah, love, you mustn't go in one of them things. The vicar says they're the invention of the devil. Think of the disgrace. <laughs> oh, don't be old-fashioned, Mum. I'd be like a pioneer, wouldn't I? Like, um... Sir Francis Drake. Uh. Oh, was he a driver as well? <laughs> <laughs> he sailed round the world. What, in a bus? <laughs> Bobby, don't you know nothing? You're dead ignorant. I can't help it. I'm cooped up here all day. I never get out. Of course you do. You get out when you sell your pigs. Oh. Well, as my dear old mother used to say, God rest her soul, a woman's place is in the home. Well, it's all wrong. Why can't women do the same jobs as men? You've been listening to them suffragettes again. All this votes for women rubbish. Well, some women have chained themselves to the railings to protest against it. Well, that's ridiculous. I don't know what good that does. Well, if enough women do it, then men will have to take notice of us. Then I can drive a bus the same as you. Don't talk wet. They'll never let women do men's jobs. We can do the same jobs as men. We don't need men for everything. <laughs> 
Well, it's one job you need a man for. What's that? <laughs> well, I'm in the wonder you never got married. Now, then, that's enough of that talk. I won't have that in my house. Well, I'll tell you one thing, love. Your cooking's improving. I'm going to have some more of your stew. Yes, it's very good, love. It's plenty there. It's no good, Mum. I just can't get this to lather. I've used nearly a whole jar of soda. There must be something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with this, love. Look, the... Oh. That's not soda, that's salt. <laughs> oh! Oh! They're the managers. We are, Mum. Hey, you want to win some well? I think I should have salt in his towel. <laughs> Change your water. Here. Just a minute. <laughs> hey, come here. Yeah? If you've been putting salt in that water, what have you been putting in the stew? That. You stood me great meat, that's the soda. <laughs> We withdraw our labour until we get our just demands. Oh, no, I don't know, Jack. I think we'd better give this new bus a trial just to see how it works out. Look, I'll tell you how it'll work out, mate. It'll work us out. Look, we'll be doing twice as much work and they'll get rid of half the blokes. Yeah, but you heard what Blakey said. If we have one of these what you call it strikes, we'll all get the sack. No, what does it matter? We'll have the union behind us. Don't talk wet. You're the only one in the union. Yeah, well, at the moment, but I mean, we're getting new members every day. Ah, well, then I'm with you then. Well, there you are. There's a 100% increase in membership already. <laughs> you cheat. You told me to right, come, come on, just come on. Bus out. Come on. Uh, we're not taking the bus out today, Mr. Blake, sir. We're on strike. Come on. On strike. On oh, strike? That's that union nonsense you're talking about, isn't it? Who said you're on strike? He does, don't you, Stan? Have a look here. Are you? Oh, well, uh, yes, Kaiser Bill. Yes, yes, I did. Get in that clear. Yes, sir. Get out. Hey. All right. Thank you. Sedition, anarchy, and revolution. It means that you will be sent to Botany Bay on a convict ship. I'm getting in. <laughs> Get out! Oh. Both of you will go to prison. Get in. Now you're talking. Right. Start it up. Come on. Yes. Two swings in a bank. Yes, sir. Oh. And I'll be sure we'll be following you on my bicycle to make sure you don't dawdle. Oh, no. Oh, this is indeed an honour, sir, the general manager coming to my office. <laughs> I, I got the new omnibus away on time, sir. Yes, sir, I see. Wonderful yes. thing, these new horseless buses. Good idea going over to them. Yes, I'm glad I thought of it, sir. <laughs> you thought of it, you idiot. It was my idea. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, I hope it works all right, sir. If it doesn't work, it'll be all your idea. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, go and get me bicycle clips, sir, and keep an eye on them and make sure it does work then, sir, eh? I, I shall follow up and keep an eye on you. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Hello, love. Hi, Mum. Go on, you get up, on. Hey, how about this, eh? I don't like it. Take human without horses. <laughs> go on, up, on. <laughs> 
know it's me. Oh. Moving out, are you? Oh, no. It's the manager's washing. Oh, yeah. I'm taking it out to it. Oh, no, sorry, love. No large parcels allowed inside. You'll have to go on top. Oh, right. Come on, give me a hand. Here we are. Give me a hand. You hold one in and I'll hold the other. Okay. Here we go. Schedule. Keep your shirt on. I'm not due out for another half hour. Oh, yes, you are, mate. You're on the new schedules now. Right, Arthur? Right. No, that's what we're on strike about, is the new schedules. Right, Jack? Uh, no, wrong, mate. The strike's over. It's all been settled. Yeah, you see, it's all been settled, so we don't have to do the new schedules, you see. <laughs> right. Uh, hey, Jack? No, uh, actually, we do have to. You see, I've agreed to the management's reasonable request. Yeah, I'll see. He's agreed to the management's reasonable task. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you said 
said you wouldn't do the new schedule. Ah, oh, well, I'm not going to. You see, oh. I don't have to, but you do. <laughs> well, uh, you see, I get time off to attend to my union duties. What union duties? Well, like settling disputes like this one over the new schedules. Oh, you've settled it all right. You've settled it for yourself, you mean, you oh, wreck you. not all that bad. I mean, look at it this way. You'll be getting a clippy on with you instead of me. Yeah. Oh, that's different then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, don't get all that excited, Butler. She's not all that gorgeous. No, well, well anything's better than him, the dirty rat. And I don't care what she looks like. Uh, well, in that case, you won't be disappointed. Here she is now. Yeah. Yeah. You chicks. Come in, love. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was always a big mouth, yeah, wasn't I? <laughs>